have to try to explain why they were involved in such frivolous and meaningless conversations and activities that really didn't have any bearing on the true nature of living and, 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 and praising God for their own personal existence. It was all just for vanity, for emptiness, for nothing that really truly mattered. And yet, when their spirits met and their souls met God in person with the judgment, everyone, yes, will give an account for their loves. Everything will be weighed in the balances, the scales. It's not just here on earth that we have a judicial system. There's an eternal spiritual court. Every ancient culture believed it. They believed in an eternal judicial system, one that is, yeah, it's reflected here on earth. We reflect the physical and the tangible, tangible reflects the, the, the unseen world. The unseen world is the spiritual world. We're just mere reflectors of, of reality. The reality, the true reality, is is what is what we is what is unobservable with the eye. Uh, not everything is explained uh, through sight and through hearing, and through, through the five senses. There's other senses that don't involve the physical body, and they're just as real, if not more real, than than, uh, than what you can actually experience in your body. There's a spiritual uh, domain. There's a, a realm that it, that is outside of the physical. That is very, very true.